Using parameters in your model simplifies your work and gives you the flexibility to easily change values or assumptions in your model. In SumaPro, parameters can be defined on database, project, or process level. In this video, we will show you how you can create various modeling scenarios using parameters on a project level. For this example, we will be using the sample project Introduction to SEMA Pro 7, where a coffee machine model SEMA has already been defined. This product has a housing made of plastic and a coffee pot made of glass with a polypropylene or PP handle. Let's assume that you're rethinking the design of the coffee pot. How will the environmental impact of the coffee pot change if we vary its dimensions? For example, what if we create a larger pot to hold more coffee? If you go to Product Stages and select the Subassembly Coffee Pot, you will see that the coffee pot is modeled using four materials and processes. Instead of recreating the subassembly and re entering all processes for every size option, we can use parameters instead. To do that, go to Parameters in the Inventory section and under Input Parameters, define the variables you want to change. So let us create parameters for the mass of the class and the mass of the PP handle. At this point, you can enter any default value. In the comment field, you can enter the units of the parameter just as a reminder. Save your work and return to the subassembly coffee pot. Click Edit and substitute the amount of values for the parameters you have just defined. The default value you had entered will be shown automatically. When you click Analyze, you will be directed to the Calculation Setup window. Enter a name for this setup and choose your Impact Assessment method. In this case, I will keep my default method EcoIndicator99. Go to the Parameter Sets tab and click Add. I will rename this parameter set Scenario1. Click Add Parameter and then Scan Tree you will get a list of all parameters available to you. Choose the ones you want to add and click Select. Here you can change the values of the parameters for Scenario 1 if needed. Let us add another scenario, Scenario 2, where the coffee pot will be larger. So let us assume that the mass of the glass pot is now 0.5 kg and the handle is 0.3 kg. This way, you can continue and add as many scenarios as you want. But for this video, let's stick to these two scenarios. Once you click Calculate, you will see a comparison of both scenarios. If you check the single score, for example, it is evident that the larger coffee pot we defined in Scenario 2 has a larger impact on the environment. Now you've seen a simple example on how you can build different scenarios using parameters. It's time to practice on your own project.